If you have processes in your church that people need to be walked through, like becoming a member or following up with first-time guests, then Workflows can help you out. To get started, click New Workflow in the top right. Then give it a name and press Create Workflow at the bottom. Then once you're in your workflow, you're ready to add the steps of your process. These steps are only seen by people who have access to the workflow. If you're not the only person using this workflow, make sure to include a description for each step so that everyone's on the same page. If a specific person in your team is in charge of a certain step, you can assign them as the default assignee. You can automatically snooze cards that might require time before they can be processed. And if this step needs to be completed within a specific amount of time, you can set that up here as well. To add more steps to this workflow, click the Add a Step button. Under the Visible To option, you'll be able to control who in your account has access to this workflow. Once all of your settings are in place, you're now ready to start adding people to this workflow. There are a few ways to do that. From the workflow itself, click Add Someone, and then search for the person you'd like to add. From someone's profile, click on the Workflows tab to add them to a workflow. From a list, you can use bulk actions or automations to add everyone at once to a workflow. A form can also have fields that put someone directly into a workflow. We hope that workflows can help you connect in even more powerful ways to the people in your church.